Hey guys, it's Frosty here once again, and today, by a question in my comment by one of my viewers, um, he wanted me to do a how-to on my Sherman tank currently, and we're, today we're going to be doing the turret, which is part one of part three or four, I'm still trying to decide because the inside of this thing is very messy, and it's, the way I do it, it's just not going to be an easy build, so I'm going to try and make it easier with these techniques and stuff and this actually took me almost two and a half hours it almost took me an hour just to get the chassis done so i'll find an easy way to do that but today we're going to stick with the turret and i actually have everything laid out and almost the section like the way it goes onto the turret so yep um there's going to be no screen for parts so i apologize but let's get started here so first off you're going to want to start with a dark gray four by six plate like this and you're going to want to have two of these one by two slope sort of pieces like that they sort of like curve around and you're just going to connect both of these on stack these on top of each other like so so they look like this and you're going to put that on the first plate right there and you're going to do the same for the other side you're going to take your other two so all in all you're going to need four of these sloped pieces or curved and put them on just like that and then next you're going to take the two one by four plates like this and just connect them onto the bottom of either side of the remaining like studs on the curved pieces so your thing should look like this when they do connect they should be somewhere in the middle just like so and then this takes away from having a corner on a sherman turret which just makes it look so boxy which my other design had so this takes away from that boxy look and then let me see here in the front right here you're gonna stick a one by two brick a plain one by two right in the middle of your curved pieces just like so and then on top of those you're gonna take two of these one by one bricks that look like this they've got the stud pointing out and it's preferred that you use these pieces and not the headlights or the backside studs as well so you're gonna put these two on just like this so it's going to look something like that and then next you're going to take and sorry for the noise but next you're going to take two of these one by two plates that have a stud in the middle like so and you're actually going to connect them together just like that and you're actually going to put them on a onto those studs right there so your tanks gonna look something like this so far and then for the turret itself it's actually very tricky because i have this rod right here which is a lego rod but it's from a brick mania kit so it's very hard to find so you guys could use for example if you wanted to you could use one of these rods right here it's got the um it's just one of those rods right there. You can use one of those if you really wanted to, because I know that a lot of you guys won't have these this piece right here, so you guys can really use any pieces you want for the turret, but for this, you're gonna take a one by one cone and stick that on the stud right there, and then just simply push in your rod right there, so it's gonna look like this. And then you're gonna take three of these Technic pin pieces that have a sort of a long side and then it goes into a short side right there i don't know if you guys can see that it goes from short into long so you you can put these on either way but i usually go short towards the back of the turret and you're going to need three of those just to put right on to your turret like so and then you're going to need one of these technic pieces which has the uh, clip holder on the front and then it goes into a sort of c cylindrical part on the back and then you're just going to pop that onto the front of your turret and your turret's going to look just like this just like that and then for the back part actually you're going to take a thing just like this Ooh, actually wait i'm messing up here so basically what you're gonna take are two of these one by two pieces right here. 
and you're actually gonna put two one by two studs right on top, just like so. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take one of these plates, it's a like a one by two on top and it's got the four studs hanging down like this. And you're actually gonna put this just like this on the back right here, like that. And then you're going to take these little pieces right here they're like the little sloped ones right here i'm not really sure how to describe them but what you're going to do is you're going to take a one by two plate put one on top of it right there and then actually and then you're going to put connect them then you're actually going to take another two one by two plates but this time you're going to put them together and just connect them onto the back right here and then this does allow you to connect these four studs to these four right here and then you're just gonna put that piece put this piece right in here like this so you're gonna want to leave a just one stud in the middle right here you just want a one stud gap right there which is gonna be filled very easily so you're gonna do that on the same exact side you're gonna do the same exact thing you're gonna put two one by two plates together on top of a one by two brick. You're gonna add the plate to the top, just like that. And then same thing, same thing, a one by two plate right on top of these two curved pieces. And then you're gonna connect another two one by two plates. But then make sure on this one, it goes the opposite direction of the other one so just like this and you're going to put that in the same spot on the tank and your turret is going to be sturdy now and then to fill in the turret actually just take two of these two by four bricks and stick it in the middle just like that and then on the sides here to fill in these little gaps you're going to take a one by two brick just slide it in like this so it's going to look something like that and then you're just going to take a regular one by one and push it in on top right there just like that then you're going to do the same for the other side one by two brick right here and the one by two can have holes in it because you're not going to see them from the side and then another one by one just like so and then for the back of your turret you're going to take a another one of these pieces with the stud in the middle and take your third and final one by one brick that has the stud facing out of it, just like that. And then you're gonna take another one of these sort of jumper plates right here, stick that onto the stud from the one by one brick right there and then take a flat two by two tile, just like that and stick this middle thing onto the stud and then you're just gonna place that down like so at the back of the tank like this. And then for our next step, you're gonna take a one by two cheese slope. It doesn't have to be one by two, but these are actually gonna face outwards like this. So it's gonna look like this. And then you're gonna do the same on the other side for your tank, like right here. I only have two of these. So it's gonna look like this. And then on top right here, for the top of the tank, you're going to take a little corner clip or corner plate right here. And you're actually going to make sure that the two studs are facing in so it fills in the back. Actually, I'm gonna take the two studs right here, put another one of these tiles on it, just like that. And then on the one stud, you're gonna put another flat two by two tile which is going to then connect onto your one by, it's actually easier to take off. Actually, before you put this on, put the top on first, so you're just gonna connect it in just like this. And then you can finally pop in your little uh, one by two plate right there. It's a little tricky to get on, but 
once you have it, it's gonna be in and it's gonna be sturdy. So that's all that really matters here. So then your back's gonna look something like that right there. And then you're gonna take an antenna piece right here, stick it onto the stud that is in right here, put on the back like that. And then in the front on these two pieces, you're gonna take another one by two tile, stick it on the front just like that right there and then on either side you're going to take a one by two flat tile and just fill in this gap right here and then you are going to do the same exact thing going across here except for this part right here these two open studs you're going to take a two by two tile with a stud in the middle and you're going to connect that right there so it can go back and then you're going to connect a Brick Arms 30 mm machine gun. You can really attach anything onto this. It can be any weapon you want. It could be a pot helmet. It can be equipment, doesn't matter. But me personally, I like to do a 30 cal because that's how it was in World War II. And then to fill in these plates right here, you're going to take a one by two with a stud in the middle. And this is for your tank commander. And you're gonna put that right here right there so it's gonna go right there and then you're just gonna keep filling in with three more one by two tiles like so and then these last two go into an L shape like this and then you put your commander's head just on that stud right there and then I forgot to do this but right here you have the two by two tile that actually does swivel and then once you're done with that, you're going to put that on the middle of the four by six plate. And then it's a little tricky to get when it's not on. And then right there, the browning fell up right there. You have it guys. That is how to make my Lego M4 Sherman turret. Um, thank you again so much for watching. Part two, maybe coming out a few days late because I'm still, like I said, I'm just trying to figure out how to chunk this body up because it is very messy on the inside and might be difficult for even for me to put it back together so yeah but that's going to be the turret for you guys thank you so much for watching please subscribe comment share the videos with your friends and i'll see you guys in the next video later